Hello, my friends. Real quick, this is GHG from the future. I've already recorded the episode, but we just had a new patron. We're up to 38, as you could tell. Join the patronage. John Short, thank you for your pledge. It means a ton for your generosity. That bumps us up to 235 a month. And when I look at this, I go, one, wow, we're almost to my goal. I, I bumped out the goal. It wasn't end of year goal, and now it's March 31st. 2019 if we can get to 40 patrons i'll feel like i've accomplished something um and then i'd like to know what your thoughts are like what should the goal be after that and then the other thing is i go wow i recorded that video right there a long time ago and it needs work and 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 that banner doesn't even mention football manager 2019 but i mean if you're coming to this page you probably know who i am right like so but it is a problem because that's also the banner I use on like Twitter and on YouTube. So I should probably update that. But again, John and every other patron, and if you're just a viewer, you know, thank you for your patronage. Thank you for support. Now let's roll the actual video. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. All right, my friends, we are still five days away from the Dundal smashing we're going to receive. And this popped up, but I thought, well, we might as well do it. It's going to be a longer episode today. I. It's amazing when you're on strong antibiotics, what having food in your stomach does. It's so different. I don't feel like I'm dying right now. I probably look like I don't feel like I'm dying right now compared to yesterday's episode. It's the same day, if you can't tell. Same shirt. I'm I'm trying to get back into this, okay? Um, right. So, Johnny Doherty, potential to be one of the most gifted players to come through the youth ranks at Capitale recent years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Craig Murphy and David Doyle. So those are the ones he's he's pinning his name to. So we got a bunch of Dubliners and we got a Cork, a man from Cork. Oh, I just hit a 10 game. I don't want to attend the game. Let's look at the youth candidates. Okay. A center back, six feet tall. Decent concentration, needs to work on his composure, not, I, really, really? This is what you're pitting your hopes on, your determination of three and unambitious. I mean, can't tackle, he can mark and head, that's good, he's got decent positioning. All around decent, one and a half star, but he's got three determination, man. <sighs> okay, An attacking right winger. Slash striker. He's pacey, but everything else. Oh, he's determined. He's resolute. But shoots from distance with a long shot of five. Dwells on the ball. Shane Clark. Okay, decent determination. First touch. He's a carrilero. Or a mediocre ball winning midfielder he can, he can do the box to box he, he needs 16 but he's got decent attributes along the way could he be the new Zach O'Neill concentration is a 5 Mark McGuire I think those of you that are like hey you need to get more you, you only need to bring in the really good ones I think we're going to get to that point right about now Unambitious with 14 determination. Uh, he's just meh. Where are the ones that he was putting? David Doyle was one of them, wasn't it? Let's go back. Craig Murphy and David Doyle. The ones at the bottom. Yeah, I wouldn't be hanging my hat on that one, mate. Three determination, six foot two, really bad physicals. Craig Murphy. 12 determination, aggressive. Everything else is meh. This is really not good, y'all. That's not going to be... He's not going to be one... Or he's not going to be half a star. He's going to be Grace. You can tell he's going to... Look at the... Hey, I'm not I'm not going to sign that. So I am going to get more particular here. Um, we'll take a look at it in a little bit. Because I guess I got to click forward and... Go watch the game I didn't intend to watch. So yeah, some of these at the top... Look okay... But I don't see a bunch that I'm like, yeah, let's jump on that. Like, this is this is good. We'll sign Johnny. He looks all right. 
got to work on some of this, but like from, from a 16 year old, like a starting position for a 16 year old, minus the determination, he looks all right, you know, and this one debatable. You, you kind of can't play right wing and then have three crossing. And these, these, bo these worry me. They don't bother me. They worry me because of the, the attributes. And I feel like his determination is just going to crash down if we sign him because our team as a, as a whole has low determin or lower determination. And so like, that's going to nick away his uh, potential ability. This is, this is decent for a uh, midfielder, right? Like decent determination. He's not like a three. He's not unambitious. He's got some decent stats. So we'll probably sign Shane. Um, right. Okay, so I've rambled for four or five minutes on that. Let's hop forward to the game. All righty, my friends. A um, couple things. Uh, the youth candidates beat our U19 team three to two. That's always a good sign, isn't it? And then uh, our coach here, Anthony Hayes, uh, that we paid whatever absurd amount of money for his Continental Pro that I didn't agree to. After several like months of he's struggling on the course, he's struggling on the course, he's struggling on the course, has failed to get a Continental Pro, and it says, I'm, I'm just reading because I had to write this down. I don't think I've ever seen this message in FM. He would have to take the full course again if he wants to try again. So that means he's probably going to try again and cost us like another six grand. Like, mate, mate, it might be time to let Anthony Hayes. If that doesn't happen by the end of the season, it might be time to let Anthony Hayes go. But he is fairly professional. I do like him. He's a, he's a all-arounder. He's pretty good. So that's just disappointing, my friends. Ah. <sighs> So we played Dundalk today. They're favored. Shocking, right? Um, we're going to go back to the 4-4-2 for this. Primarily because against Dundalk, we can't play Anthony O'Reilly. So if we're doing the 4-2-3-1, which I think probably is a little aggressive for the number one team in the league. Um, even if we wanted to play that, we'd, we would probably have to play Houlihan up there. And put O'Neal at the box to box midfield, which we could do. But... I'm just not expecting a lot out of this game. So we are going to play our starters, which is probably a bad idea, right? Um, with I mean, we have six days until the next game against Wexford. But I do have some options on the bench that we don't normally have. So we got Walsh. We're trying to get him some more playing time. He is improving. Jumping reaches. I mean, he's he's jumping all over the place. He's a jumping bean. Um, Jack Ludwig just came back from pulled ankle ligaments. Trying to, get, trying to really make a determination on him because um, he could replace Dalton depending on how this star works out, right? Um, so he can go 75 minutes, bringing up Dean Murphy because he's complaining about playing time and kind of the same thing. We we need to make a determination if we're going to keep him. Maybe he replaces, what does the Fox say, who hasn't done all that well this season? So I, I'm bringing some folks in to kind of go like, eh, let's see how they do, um, especially because we got other youth candidates. So that's what my thinking is there. We're going to go with Adayinka. Are we? Are we? Yes, Sure, we'll go with that. I, no, he's not played very well now, has he? Let's put Tierney in. Because <laughs> he can do the... He, he can kind of do the cover. He's not as he's not as fast as Walsh, but obviously he's he's better than Walsh on the, on the other aspects of the job. Dean Murphy's going to get his first. He's going to take that home. He's like, we're going to iron on a 49. He's like, Mom! Oh, they're playing a 424, my friends. <laughs> they're, they're coming after us. Um, yeah, I'm going to say we got nothing to lose here. That, I think that's a fair one for today. When you're playing number one in the league and they, they've got two games in hand and they're number one, I, I think that's a fair shout. I just want to check something. We got lower defensive line. Okay. We are pressing. We are countering. Okay. Distribute quickly. Higher tempo. So that's, that's, you know, after a while when you make all these changes and like it, the other tactic it says it's three four one two is the title, but it's really a four two three. I just like to check things every once in a while just to see how it's going. Um, uh, yeah, we spent. We I, I was so tempted to book a friendly. We're gonna do key highlights for this. I don't. I'm not expecting much. Um, we'll do extended on the Wexford game since we had youth intake. Um, oh, they've already had a shot. Hmm. Right. Um. I don't even remember what I was saying to be completely. I just blacked out. I just blacked out. Um, we, we're even on shots and on target shots, my friends. Hey, wait, we got a better ratio. Come on, boys. Come on. Okay, that's them, not us. We're in, we're in the blues today. Mechaniff. Connolly. 
Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Get in there. Get stuck in. Okay, deflects. Wiltshire, already on the yellow. 20 minutes in. Excellent. McGlade. Actually, it looks like it was down here. Oh, and hold on, too. Oh, he's offside! Oh, was he offside? I missed it because I was looking at the yellow cards. Oh, just a fuzz. Unfortunate. So we got the double yellows. That's impressive. Um, yeah, let's do that for the for the guy that's on the, the central midfield defend role. Might be a bit aggressive. Are you, are you going to do anything, Connor? Are you just going to stand? Like, I know you got to hold your position and, like, be ready to make that run off the center back. But, you know, he's just kind of... Where is our team? Do something. Oh, I thought Hulahan was just going to come in and just take him out and get sent off. Oh, okay. He tried to curve it in. All right. Hey, hey, we're 25 minutes in. We're doing well. Oh, I, I say that. We're going to concede right here. Is that Wilson? Is that the same Wilson that uh, we loaned the center back? Surely not. Surely he's not their corner taker. You never know, though. Benteke is, has come down a bit. He's playing for Dundalk. <laughs> Probably different. Oh, near post. Of course. A pathetic near post shot results in a goal. And we're going to say demand more. I, I don't want to watch this. Wait, I'm not expecting to win this game. I would love to win this game. And and you may be going like, mate, you're giving up so much money. It's just like they're number one, right? Like I, I figured a 4-4-2 playing counter with them having four people forward would allow us to counter and do something. He's not. Oh, they're saying he interfered. They're saying Vice Captain Jack interfered. Is that the call? Is that the call? Because obviously, who has no where near being offside. I don't know about that, boys. Ah, uh, the refs are on the on the take. No, it's flicked on. Douglas, calm as you like. Okay, all right. Okay, that makes you, makes you nervous when you pass it back to your keeper. Oh, poor distribution. He tried to go long to Klukas. Maybe we're missing that attacking midfield spot. I mean, I, I, if we have to, we'll go 4-2-3-1. Four, four, I mean... We, we don't have the the one, uh, or uh, the not the one, the attacking midfielder. Klukas could drop there, I guess. Clang! Clang! Ha! Ah, that's indicative. I, I was saying Connor and Lang at the same time, and I got Clang. That's a, that's a new one, isn't it? I guess we could do 4-2-4 four, four if we had to. Because I'd rather play Klukas up top than in the attacking midfield role. Uh... Oh, okay, deflected, deflected, deflected. We've had the clear-cut chance. We've had the clear-cut chance, and we're three for three on target shots. I really don't think we played all that poorly, to be honest with you. It was a poor goal that we gave up. Like, don't hear me wrong, but they have had ten shots. Only five of them on target. It's, it's really not that bad of a game, right? Like, they've had five long shots, so... I'm going to say, um, I'm happy to perform. Let's keep it up. And that's I, that's not me trying to, to big them up or anything. It's, that's legitimate. Now, we may panic here a little bit. Well, 65th minute is, is usually where I would go like, okay, we need to we need to press to try and get an equalizer um, if what we're doing isn't 100% working. Klokas is anxious. Excellent. Excellent. Glad to hear that. That's fantastic, lads. Picked up another yellow. Short pass. They, they've gone 4 2 3 1, which is interesting. And it's time to make some changes. <laughs> we might as well try balanced. I'm not saying we're going to go. I guess we might go attacking, but let's just, let's just push the wingers up a little bit. Oh, Douglas is on a 6.1, my friends. He's on a 6.1. That's not, that's not what you're wanting to see. <laughs> uh, you know, I think I, we just may do this. Push him up a little bit. And more of a supported role. What is this formation? And then the next move is to take him off and bring somebody 
on. I just put them all on defend. I guess we'll go attacking. Oh, uh, we might, you know, like, again, I don't think we're going to win this game. Uh, everyone's playing poorly. So we're going to bring on Murphy and Ludwidge. Even, okay, we'll put him back here because it's a little more balanced if we do that. Question mark. Put him on attack so he's getting forward. Yeah. Mm. I'm just making sure he's left footed. Let's stop playing for set pieces. Let's try and, like, score. Maybe. I, I, I'm i not trying to throw the game. I just... I didn't think we were we were ready for this. So, <clears throat> let's get some guys some playing time. Maybe maybe Dean Murphy will score his first, you know... Uh, well, I was going to say top-level goal, like, Premier Division goal, but this isn't a Premier Division, Premier Division game. Yeah, it's... Is what it is. Unfortunate. Maybe we'll get a little bit of gate receipt money. It's just not... It's not... It's not fair. We could have had a better draw, and we, we end up with first place. Somebody had to get first place, I guess, so... It might as well have been us. If we come back and score three, I, I would love to eat my words. Connor Lang tries to first-time volley it. That man looks like he's guarding the dumpster. Kind of an interesting thing. Ah, well, we didn't really play that bad, really. I mean, our finishing probably could have been better. Ten shots on target to seven. You know, I think we played a good... Their ratings indicate they had a fantastic game, but... Um, I'm just saying, unlucky, you know? Like, I don't know what you're switched off for. You played a 6.3, mate. Nobody played that well. We move on. We take on Wexer. Neutral site game. Um, whoop, I'm at the finances. Oh, it's, it's not, we'll see, uh, 13 days, I thought it was 6 days. Oh, oh, that's the U19 score. Well, that's confusing. We'll see in 6 days, just one second. Cork City lost to Derry City. We could win our next game and not jump them because goal differential, unless we absolutely scored a bunch of goals, like 18. Um, but... You're saying there's a chance, my friends. You're saying there's a chance. All right, my friends. We take on Wexford. We're four to seven odds. Neutral site. Hugh Douglas and Wiltshire are out with suspension from yellow card accumulation. I'm going risky. We're doing 3-4-1-2. O'Reilly back in. We put Murphy, Dean Murphy, because of the pace, the determination. That's about it. In a support role, he wants playing time. I feel like this is a good opportunity to give him some serious playing time. We got Waters on the bench. I like Waters. I'm not saying he's bad. He can rotate in if we need him to. Um, but Waters is not the future. Murphy could be part of the future, so we have to take that into consideration. We've also brought in uh, some trialists. I just want to show you this guy. Six foot six. My goodness. I just wanted to see. I was just kind of curious. Um, and then Sam Long is a right back. Five foot ten. I want to see what these numbers end up. One to four crossing. Not ideal. More of a <laughs> um, central defender is what it looks like. But these are in somewhat pace. Not, maybe not. But that's an encouraging number. We'll just have to take a look. I, I'm just... I, every so once in a while, take a little dabble. Take a look. Um, so this is how we line up. Klukas, Connor, O'Reilly, O'Neal, Holohan, McGlade, and Murphy... Vice Captain Jack, Adayinka, Tierney with Bernard, who can play center back or left back if we want to switch to that. Walsh, because he's pacey. Fitzgerald, because we need somebody that can play center back and midfield. Uh, Ledwidge on the right, Waters for the left or the striker, and John O'Neill. This team has got nine, 19 points. They're like, they're pretty far down. Uh, yeah, yeah, hold on. Uh, passionate. We're favorites. Go win. Go win. Go win. That's the chant I'd start in the uh, in the locker room. Uh, hold on. Let's go take a look. They're eighth. Eighth in the first division. 23 
points. I'm just saying. I'm just saying we could use 15 and a half grand. We are 133 in the hole. It's not even a sellout. It's like 2,080 people were coming. That's the number of tickets that were expected to be sold. It's a neutral site, so I'm not sure how many there should be. But we should win this game. O'Reilly. Oh, short to Murphy. McGlade with lots of space takes a touch. Offside again. Who? Right there. Adiyink is in the way. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I was a that was a great set piece routine though. Like that was ugh, that was good. I was good. Come on, boys. Come, oh, uh, I meant to go to extended on this. We've already gone through nine minutes. I want I wanted this one to be extended because it's a It was a more winnable game than the Dundalk one. We play Waterford next. They're sixth in the league. If we win that game, we could be even on points with fourth place. Skoskar in the comments has been saying we were going to get uh, European competition by the uh, by the four seasons. So he he's crossing his fingers, going like, "Oh, my prediction's going to come true." They're flicking it on. This looks dangerous. Through ball. Okay, Dean Murphy comes back to help on the defense. Sweeney Todd to school. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Zach O'Neill is confused. It hit him in the face. He thought he busted his nose. He turned around. Apparently, you know, you always turn your back on it, but he comes back, slide tackle. No one goes after it because they're afraid of him now because he's bleeding down his face and looks like a maniac. Connor Lang is just going to first time cross it to Klukas, who's going to head it right back at the keeper. <clears throat> Come on, boys. All right, this is going to be an early demand more. Hopefully it goes all right. 24 minutes in. What are they gonna? How are they going to react? Are they going to be... Tommy Tierney is just an aggressive. He's always aggressive body language. I think that's interesting. I guess that's uh, one of his his traits. Zach O'Neill just takes it right off his foot, lads. Holohan up top. Connor Lang in space. One over the keeper. Oh, what a save! He could have. He could have. It's like Lukaku when uh, I think it was Rash. No, Pogba took that shot. I can't remember which game it was, but he's like he was wide open because the keeper was way off his line and he just tried to shoot it and it hit the side netting. That's what uh, Klukos is doing there. He's like, oh, just. Six yard box, man. Just a parallel. O'Reilly. Oh, it takes a touch. Dribbles. Oh. Come on, boys. Come on. Whole hands on a 7.2, and we've not done anything. Interesting. McGinnis. Don't pass it to Adayinka. I guess they still had him highlighted for when he was offside. I'm like, why is it highlighting it? Tommy Tierney. Takes a touch. Dinks it to nobody. But Connor, he, he anticipated that because he's a pro. O'Reilly. Takes a touch. Uh, plays it into Kukas. Was it a penalty? No. Good tackle. Adiyinka. Down to Holohan. Okay. To McGlade. Where's Dean Murphy? Can we get it to Dean Murphy? I want to get Dean Murphy a goal. Let's boost the youngster's confidence. He's making a run. There he is. Takes a touch. Good cross. Oh, it takes two. He doesn't get the assist because Klukas, you know, I mean, it was a difficult, difficult shot, right? Volley first time. That's his 50th goal. You see it at the bottom right over there? 50th goal with the club. 18th of the season he is he plays above his ratings i think his or his attributes doink that was a heck of a save and then really that was kind of lucky to have gone in but we're not complaining it's just unfortunate dean murphy doesn't get the assist there because i was i was level he got he got right he got right in where we needed it everyone else playing kind of turd let's be honest beside hula and Klukas. oh i feel so much better with food in my body Lovely stuff, people. Thirteen shots, seven on target. They're four and one. They've had a love. Thirteen fouls for them and a yellow. And a yellow, my friends. Assertive. Keep it up. I'm not gonna say don't get complacent. I want to be rah rah shishkumba, that kind of a manager in this type of a game. Like you're, you're crushing them. Keep crushing them. You've created two clear-cut chances and two half chances. Let's get it done, boys. Zach O'Neill dribbles, draws his man, and Dean Murphy. Oh, it was... I was going to say a good, good run, but it, it wasn't a good run, nor was it a good touch. Not very good. McGlade is on a 6.4. He's asking to be subbed off. He says, hey, give Ludwig a chance. Murphy's picked up a yellow. Lovely. 
Yeah, let's not get sent off. He's young. He's inexperienced. He's used to playing probably a little bit more rough and tumble in the U19. So let's let's make sure he doesn't get a sending off here. I'll, I'll say that, and it won't have a chance to, like, that that uh, instruction to him to, to ease off his tackles won't go through because we're in this highlight, and he'll get sent off. There he is, Dean Murphy. Oh, okay. <laughs> he didn't anticipate that. Takes some time, though. Oh, I thought he was going to get an assist. Don't come back and get don't come back and get sent off. Don't come back and get sent off. But do no, he's gonna get sent off. Oh, it's through. We get a oh, all kinds of bad things gonna happen there. Highlight continues. Adyinka, Tommy Tierney, the youngsters paired up together. Connor Lang, ninth goal of the season. Tierney with the assist from the back line. In a short passing play to out of defense <laughs> control possession. I just love that Adayinka and Tierney, like, they play together. I just, I, it's just something, that's one of the things in Football Manager, like, when you've got youngsters that you bring in um, through your youth team, and then they come up, and then they're playing together, and they're playing well. Oh, I love it. Although, Adayinka's ratings haven't always been fantastic. Um, I'm going to say we're taking McGlade off. Let's see what, what all the slowdown of the, and the timer is. Okay, Zach O'Neill picks up a yellow. Not the best, but he's on a 6.5. He's played a bunch. Let's give Ledwidge a chance. We got a two-goal lead. We should be able to see this out, he says, cursing the team, right? Like, they're an eighth in the first division. I don't even know how they got here. Connor Grant. Oh, that's not ours. Grant, not Lang. Oh, last second. He gets the hand to it. <coughs> We've got some complacency in the squad. Vice Captain Jack. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Vice Captain Jack, O'Neal, um, and I think somebody else have already signed pre-contract deals. I had just forgotten that because it had been a little bit since I had recorded. Okay, we're making a sub. We're making a sub, my friends. If you're going to be complacent, we're going to bring in Darren Walsh. And we're going to put him here and put him on cover. You played a 6.7, you're complacent, we're up by two goals, bring in the youngster. <clears throat> O'Reilly, come on, mate. Oh, it falls! Klukas! Oh, I thought he was going to get his 51st goal, instead it goes out. The fans are happy there in the corner, though. They were clapping. They liked it. O'Reilly doesn't take the short option. It falls. Walsh! <laughs> Again, that's like the second time, I think, in two episodes or three, maybe. Oh, that Walsh has taken a, a crack from that spot. He's like, I'm in the box. I'm shooting. I'm a center back. Connor Lang with his 10th of the season, my friends. The 10th of the season. Um, he hasn't played as much. We're going to take Klukas off. And we're going to bring on John O'Neill and put him in a poacher role because he's quite fast. He's got 15 acceleration. Or not fast. He's, he's acceleratable. Ignore. Oh, 5.7. It's come back a little bit. Yikes. The ratings are going well, my friends. We're going to get out of here with a victory in 15.5K minus, apparently, a check fee. It's never the exact amount. I don't understand that. Hopefully, we get, like, half of the gate receipts, and that's a lot of money. And we were at, like, 133 in the hole. Could we be at 110? Could we be at 110? I doubt it. I bet we're closer to, like, 115 or 120. But every little drop in the bucket counts. We have... I was going to say, come here. But I, I guess it, it's a neutral site, so you could say we came here. John O'Neill, not, not a lot of time to make a big difference. I left Connor Lang on because he hasn't played as much and because he could get his hat trick, and I'm tired of answering questions about hat tricks. Ledwidge got some good time. Murphy got some good time. So I feel like this was a successful game. Now, if we lose O'Neill and Holahan for the next league game because of yellow card accumulation, that would be a problem. That would be a problem. We we would have <laughs> midfield problems. We'd be looking at, like, Liam Kerrigan and Wiltshire, I guess. But my friends, I think that's a solid performance. And we got Walsh sometimes, so. Come on, highlights. Oh, I probably a little bit of a dive there. You're just going just gonna to stand out of the way. That's fine. We're, don't get stuck in. Don't get hurt. Just just let him pass it around. Everybody knows, like, ref, ref's like, uh, might as well go ahead and blow the whistle. Walsh plays it back. Oh, that was a little 
nervy, but camera does a weird thing. Zach O'Neill, what you doing, mate? Just take him to the corner. Okay, John O'Neill. He's gonna play an O'Reilly here. Nope, nope. They're just gonna stand at each other way. That's that's the preferred thing to do, actually. And then we're gonna pass that. What a highlight. What weren't you entertained? I was entertained by that. <clears throat> Ticker tape parade! Yeah! Second trophy? Because we won the Leinster Senior Cup, and then we didn't win it, but then now we've won this. Would have liked to have been the FAI Cup, to be honest with you. Go goalkeeper doing this in the back. I like it. I like it. That was a solid performance, my friends. Passionate. Enjoy your success. Bada bing. <coughs> Bada boom. Game in three days. Fantastic. Okay, so it doesn't say it's going to miss the next game. Let's just let's just look. Yes, we still have them. How close are they? Oh, hands only got one. zachary has got two. Okay, so it's it could could be a lot worse. So let's just take a look. Fifteen point five nine k. So that's more. Did it say it's fifteen point five k? I don't understand, people. I don't understand. EA Sports Cup. EA Sports Cup. Oh, Barrett. Hmm. <laughs> well, mind games, my friend. He said it. He essentially was saying like it's just another game, and I was like, "Well, he's he's just trying to get under my skin." I, that's what I say to that. Seventy-five to one preseason odds. I don't know if that's. I'm, I'm assuming somebody else would have been higher odds than that. Um. Okay, let's let's risk it. You were superb. And oh yes, I love it when they take positive feedback. Um, Kenny is checking out Anthony O'Reilly, who we've loaned. I can't remember if I told you that. We've loaned him till next season. Why is his determination dropping, mate? What you doing? What you... Oh, uh, it was a... It was a 10 and now it's an 8. Ooh, okay. And then we pay 5.5. So we, what, we net like 10 grand? 115. That's what I told you. That's what I told you. All right, my friends, when we come back, what do we come back for? It's going to be somewhere between St. Pat's and Galway will be the game we come back for because that will have a better picture, right? We get this game in hand. We could, if we win against Waterford, now they're right on our tails, right? And they're pushing for a spot too, so that won't be an easy game even though it's at home. You know, we could be even on points. And then we would still... Oh, we would have a game in hand against... Okay, we'd still be... If we won two games in a row, we'd still be a point off of Bohemians. But, like, we're in the running, right? Like, we're in the running, lads. If you have enjoyed that episode, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Hopefully, by the time I record again, <coughs> I'm feeling better. Let me know what you think about these other uh, youngsters that we haven't signed yet. I signed Johnny and Shane. And that's it. So let me know about that. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.